The word rabbi in the holy language is written resh bet yud. Rabbi, resh bet yud. It can be two combinations, two main combinations. At least that, what that, the crazy Rabbi Nachman of Wesley wrote in his wild book, Likutei Moran. What did Rabbi Nachman of Wesley wrote? That Rabbi can be or Rosh Bnei Israel, the head of all of the tribes of Israel, means that it's a person that accepts everyone, that hugs everyone. He's the head of all of Bnei Israel, everyone. He doesn't look on their wallets, he doesn't look on their colors, he doesn't look if they woke up, if they're educated, if they're from, from birth or from, from habit. He doesn't check nothing, he just loves Bnei Israel. He's got that problem. Problem. He loves people. Or reshaim b'choshech idam, evil people that will be silent in darkness, that will drown in darkness. It can be a big rabbi that will be quiet because of a very thick darkness that will cover him, because he was not the head of Bnei Israel, because he was not hugging and loving and accepting everyone under the wings of Shechina, and still he was crowning himself to be a rabbi. Only a person that runs away from the honor will be honored by Hashem. A person that chases after the honor, the honor will run away from him. A real honorable person is a person that honors others. The temporary world, that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all He, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.